Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Shars Confessions. So if you're new, you already know that you need to tune the fuck in. So hit that subscribe button. And if you're tuning back in, then you know who the fuck it is. So anyways, today I'm here to do a quick little everyday makeup tutorial for you guys because I haven't done any makeup on this um, YouTube channel and I feel like y'all been waiting for it. So here it come bitches, get ready for it. And let's hop right into this makeup. <laughs> let's get into this tea. Oh, crrr. and today I'm gonna be giving y'all an everyday makeup tutorial because I haven't done any makeup on this channel since I started it and it's time that I show y'all, you know, how I beat this face because honey, I stay slaying. Look, my eyebrows been threaded today. I got my lashes already on. So we popping. Oh, <laughs> what bitch gonna step? Cause I'ma step on your neck. But anyways, let's hop into this makeup. So first, I start with my eyebrows, which are already threaded, so I don't really have to use my spoolie much to, um, you know, like, make them go up and out. Thank God they're done because, who oh, sis, I have been living like a caveman for a while. But then you're gonna take your eyebrow pencil and trace the outline of your eyebrow and follow it all the way through to the tail, like so. And if you mess up, then girl, that's what concealer is for. Concealer's gonna fix all my mistakes. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. I'm like low-key brushing my eyebrows. I'm in my own eyelashes while I'm doing this too. Y'all, it's hot out here. But we're gonna get through this. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the top. Just again, tracing that shape that's already there. Oops, messed up on this side, but like I said, concealer. Snatch. But when are they not? <laughs> Let's be honest. When are my eyebrows not snatch? <laughs> Get into that team. Now you're gonna take your eyebrow pencil and make hair-like strokes on the inside to fill it in. And you're gonna keep doing this till you get to the end. And by your, when you get to the end by your tail, it's okay to go off a little bit because, and when I say go off, I mean like, you can make it dark as hell at the end because it's your tail. And most people don't have a lot of hair there. And this isn't gonna be like too much because this is like my quick beat, like, you know, I'm in a rush for work type shit. Sometimes I don't even use concealer to like carve them and I'm not even gonna do it today because I don't need it. But basically you would take the um, concealer and you know, shape them up around it just in case you made any mistakes which which I didn't really make no mistakes <laughs> okay so yeah I'm gonna blend that out bada boom bada bing I forgot to put on my primer and this is an essence glow boosting pore minimizing primer so Hopefully it make my pores smaller because they be fucking huge. Then you're gonna take that and put it all over your face. And 
yeah, it makes the skin glowy. And who don't want to glow during the summertime? So, <laughs> sis, I'm trying to shine bright like a diamond. All right, so now that I got my eyebrows done and my primer already on, I'm going to take my eyebrow mascara gel and use that to coat my eyelash, I mean my eyebrows, to make sure they stay in place. Like, this will keep everything, like, in that one space, like, and you also can use it to like color them too, like make it darker. So yeah, that's kind of the finished look for my eyebrows. Ugh, this hair is getting on my nerves. I'm about to see my edges soon. Cause I'm about to sweat them out. Now the fun part. Eyeshadow. And this is my Wet n Wild palette that I got from Ulta for like $5 and some change. It's cute. It has like transition shades and then it has like some shimmers. But yeah. Get into this bad boy. So I'm gonna take a um a crease brush if I can find one. Come out, come out wherever you are. Okay, so I can't find a crease brush, but that's cool. That's fine. I'm just gonna take a regular blending brush. Y'all, I'm kinda all over the place with this. So I'm gonna take this first color at the top, the transition shade, and I'm gonna work that into my crease. So like, you just make windshield wiper motions into your crease. And I'm also gonna work that color up near my brow bone. Like so. It was a wasp or some type of bug. I hate bugs. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other eyelid. Ah, I just realized I did not prime my eyelids. I am a mess. But you know what? This is literally how my makeup would be going if I was in a rush. I would be forgetting stuff and just going with the flow. But yeah, make sure you blend it out. When in doubt, blend it out. I don't care about nothing else. As long as you blend it out, sis, it's gonna look fine. Like, just blend it out. And I'm gonna take this darker, this warmer transition shade, and I'm gonna put that in my crease as well. But this time, I'm not gonna work it up to my brow bone. I'm gonna keep it in the crease. You gotta make sure you pack that product in there just to make sure you can see it. And do the same thing with the other eyelid. Keeping it in the crease, working it back and forth. Making sure that it is very blended, like so. And now, using a different eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna pop 
this dark brown shade into my outer eyelid. So like over here in this area. Make sure you, unless you're packing it on, you don't want a lot of fallout. So I just kind of like, you know, tap it off like that. Just like so, working into your crease. You know, like I said, blend it out. When in doubt, blend it out. That's my motto, sis. Something else is, my life may not be perfect, but my lashes are. Get into that to you. So there is definitely something flying around me and I'm trying my best to keep my cool. But I really want to run away from this table. But it's like, bitch, this is my table. And you can't sit with me. You can't sit with us, period. Like I said, blend it out, sis. And this is not something I normally do, but for the most part, if you have like some area on your eyelid where it hasn't been it doesn't have any product on it or whatever, then you can take a shimmer, which I'm about to do with my finger, and apply it to that area. So like right in the middle. And make sure you blend it out. Like I'm just applying it with my finger, but I'ma fix it. back into my palette and use that first transition shade and blend it out like so. And now I'm done with the eyeshadow. So that's what it looks like. That's real natural, you know, something slight. Now I'm gonna take my First Aid Beauty Tinted Moisturizer and I'm gonna apply that all over my face. And it gives me like a sheer coverage. So it's not like too much and it's not cakey. And because it's a tinted moisturizer, that's why I'm applying it with my hands. If this was my foundation, I would be using a stippling brush and my beauty sponge. But this is, like I said, what I do when, you know, it's quick. I'm trying to get it done. Now that I got my tinted moisturizer on, I'm going to put on some lip liner because I love lip liner and clear lip gloss. 
So I'm gonna take, this is also another Essence product. I'm gonna take that and line my lips. Yeah, I got that on my lips. And then I take my Maybelline Color Sensational lipstick in the shade Honey Pink. And I'm just gonna apply that a little bit at the top and then a little bit at the bottom. I'm just trying to make my lips look pinker. So then I'm, you know, <laughs> put that mouth to work. Like so. And then I'm gonna take another Essence product. That should sponsor me. It's the um, Shine, Shine, Shine Wet Look Lip Gloss. And I'm gonna apply that on top of the lipstick and the lip liner. Also, I've been wearing this all day and it's really not sticky like um, Beauty Supply lip gloss. If you know, you know. Now my lips look luscious. My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. All the boys be jocking. They chase me after school. So yeah, got that done. We're pretty much almost done. Like I'm wrapping it up. And I'm gonna apply a little concealer underneath my eyes. And I apply it right above my upper lip. And in that area, cause I'm trying to hide my mustache a little bit down here. And I put it right there on my nose because it's always red there. I know it looks terrible, but. Blend that all in. When I'm done with this, I'm applying highlighter. The faces I'm making probably look so ugly. that face sis. Beat it. <sighs> and we are, we wrapping up. Now I'm gonna take my Laura Geller highlighter. It's another bug. My Laura, Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. And I'm gonna take my fan brush and I'm gonna dip that in there. And we're gonna start applying highlighter. You're gonna put it on your cheeks, like so. Smile it a little bit. Just to make sure it gets on your cheekbones. Like so. Put it on my nose. Make me look real shiny. My cupid bow on my forehead and on the chin because you can never go wrong with highlight. And it makes me feel bougie to be using this. Like, I feel like a fairy princess that resides over the pits of hell. And then last but not least, I'm gonna put some highlight highlighter underneath my um, brow bone. I'm looking for my, look for a smaller brush. So I'm gonna take this little bitty brush right here and I'm gonna use that to apply my highlighter under my brow bone, like so. And basically what this is, it kinda like gives the illusion that your eyebrows are lifting 
But I think it makes you look more youthful. I think that's whatever it is, some shit like that. I'm a fraud. What do I know? And you're gonna put it in your inner corner of your eye. And bam, a bad bitch has been burnt. Get into this beat. My hair ain't never stiff. But yeah, I use all drugstore products. Like most of it I got from Ulta. And it usually takes me about 30 minutes to apply all of these products. But that's just because I'm extra as fuck. But that's usually what I do for my everyday look. Brows, lashes, a little shadow, lips, highlighter. So I hope that y'all enjoyed my video. Thank you for tuning in. And stay tuned because, bitch, I'm dropping another one soon. I'm going to keep this boss bitch energy coming all 2019 for the rest of your life. So buckle up, bitches, because it's about to be a wild ride. That's what he said. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Bye, bitches.